Hello everyone, it's Chrissy from Chrissy's Beautiful Life. I am here for day one of 30 Days of Sketches series 13. Cannot believe that. Um, the sketch today is by Rachel and it's lots of fun hexagons going on. I'm not going to be doing hexagons, I don't think, um, but I gave myself two options here. So my first option is to do this super cute photo of Barrett when he was a baby, which he finds very funny. <laughs> um, and I pulled a bunch of scraps and I feel like this works really well. And then I just pulled some more kind of blues and blacks and there's a couple pops of red in there. And my plan with this is then to take the Superman diamond type symbol and use that instead of hexagons. So that's my first plan. Um, if that doesn't work for me, because it's been a hot minute since I've scrapbooked, so we don't know how it's going to go. Um, I also pulled a bunch of like wood grains and then some pops of color. And I'm going to use this in my vacation album from our summer vacation this year, which I'm scrapbooking in eight and a half by 11. And then I might do hexagons for that. I'm not sure, but I just gave myself some options so I can kind of see where to go um and whichever one doesn't get mm -hmm. done for this video yeah. it'll get done with um in the next couple days videos yeah. um as well so mm -hmm. let me get you on fast forward and let's see what i can come up with yes yep are you ready barrett mm -hmm. let's do it Sorry. okay so barrett and i changed our minds and instead yeah, of i i got a pencil he got a pen we're gonna do stars yes instead of diamonds because mm -hmm. that's what he wants i grabbed yes two different stencils oh, yeah. um well three and this one too i'm not sure we're gonna do some layering <laughs> yes i think we're gonna use this that one, that one. <laughs> this black piece yeah. Yeah. i'm not sure if it's a full 12 by 12 though so um know. we'll have to trim it and figure it out so the first thing we need to do is yeah, barrett's got his pen we're gonna be wait we're not gonna do that yet okay. um i think we want this to be in in something else I was trying to think if I want it as a full star yes. or a smaller star. So I think we're going to use it as a little border mm -hmm. and then we'll do it as a star as well. So we're going to let Barrett help here. And I think we'll pick maybe this little help. star. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So Mr. Bear Bear is going to grab his pen. And, draw and we're going to trace the star. Are you ready, buddy? Okay. This, no, 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 no. Right here. Okay, I'm gonna do okay, it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Right here, we're gonna trace the star. Okay, good. Good job. Now I'm just gonna go around. Yes. And that's my pencil, right? It's your pen, yep. Yeah. Perfect. So we're just gonna do that mm -hmm. um, yes. with the different shaped stars. And then we'll see where I we can go from. Look at this picture. We can go from there. And then we also have a picture of Mr. Jackson <laughs> with our kitty dozer. <laughs> I look at this picture. And who is that? Baby Bear, the somebody else. I like be Halloween for the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so that is how uh, it's been going the last two and a half months and why I haven't gotten a lot of um, creating done because I have lovely little helpers with me. And I'm currently standing at the very side of my desk while he's sitting in a chair in the middle of it. <laughs> but it's fun. It's it's great to let him be there and let him help me make choices. Uh, but that is one of the many reasons why I have been quite um, absent from my channel. So we're going to trace a bunch of different stars. This is a very old stencil. It's probably one of the very first ones I, I ever had. But I do like how um, I use them instead of doing the, like the diamond kind of Superman shape, which is my original plan. I was absolutely planning to do that. But this helped me use up some things because I obviously have star things in my collection and in my stash and stuff so this was just great i'm using up scraps every single piece of paper including that black is a piece of scrap and so i wasn't worried if anything kind of got messed up and it was just fun to kind of play this was honestly the first time putting um paper onto paper and creating a layout um since august i haven't this is my first layout I've created in months. Um, I've done a little bit of December daily, but that's about it. And so this was really fun to just kind of play, have Barrett there and kind of 
make some decisions with me because it is a photo about him which I guess is a bonus about creating the layouts of them as babies and waiting a little bit because then they kind of have some input in it as well so that was kind of fun and then I just kept cutting and tracing I like the idea of the two stars and you can see from the sketch um so I took out obviously the hexagons and I'm using the stars and then I've rotated the sketch so that everything is um vertical instead of horizontal with how everything's being placed I did add in another star I just like the idea of having that there I'm gonna back my photo with this piece of pattern paper I was just looking on the back to see if it's something I could possibly use but I'm like no it's fine it's already a scrap let's just use it I like the color um, difference I wanted a little bit of a border but I didn't want a stark white behind there so this was a good compromise I'm then gonna do some mixed media and to make up for the difference in the black pattern paper or sorry cardstock not being a 12 by 12 I found a little bit of red so it matches the red from the photo there and it's just saying starting your journey and he's pretty young in these photos um I'm not exactly sure but within the first couple months so I felt like that was really fitting and kind of fit with the whole idea of him being a baby I went to grab some modeling paste so I could do my mixed media and found out that it's dried out because I haven't used it in a really long time. So um, I had to come up with plan B and I just grabbed some acrylic paint and then I'm going to use some um, distress oxide. I think that's what this is. It's a very bluey blue and I'm just going to mix it. It's super light because of course I'm using white um, acrylic paint and so it takes a lot to get it into a bit of a blue but I finally make it work and I'm gonna do this in one shade with these stars and then I do some splatters and then I go back through and I because I didn't have modeling paste I just used a different type of blue and it bled through and was not crisp and clean which I kind of knew was going to happen but it was worse than I even expected it to be um, but that's okay because you're going to see in the end, I layer it all up and you can't tell. It just kind of looks like background, like space basically. Um, and so I was happy that these stars turned out. They ended up being okay. I think the acrylic paint that I have, that I use with this, it's a little bit thicker than just like super loose liquid acrylic paint. It's got a bit of substance to it. And I think that just kind of helped, um, make this work. I really love it. I, again, was just trying to play. I am not the biggest mixed media expert, and so I just kind of have to do what I can go with. And this is what it kind of looks like uh, once it's all dry and done. I'm now going to take all those stars that I traced out and just get them glued down where they are. And I'm really happy with this and how it's looking. I feel like you can see the nod to the sketch but then of course I like to do my own thing with sketches as well and I think this is a really happy medium between the two and it gives off a good um, balance for this really cute photo of Barrett. I'm going to use the love this adventure as my title that's again I'm trying to use it my stash so I found these um, they're from Coco Vanilla Studio and they just I had them so I went ahead and grabbed those. I grabbed some of these fun Shadney stars they're acrylic stars and I start with a bunch of blue i'm going to trade two of the blue out for a more greeny yellow color um, to kind of match the belt and then i will add a sequence as well to kind of wrap the layout up but yeah i'm really i'm really proud of this i'm so happy to have um been able to create something and i do this all in a day which if you've followed me for any length of time i am probably one of the world's slowest scrapbookers so the fact that I did this pretty much in an entire day is just unheard of I couldn't I couldn't believe that I managed to do that and I'm happy with it and sometimes when you get back into scrapbooking um, your first layout back is not always your favorite you're kind of like ugh, but at least I've got it done um, but I didn't even have that feeling towards it I was just happy to have it I got some sequins used up um, and of course if you're interested in that you can always use my code christy15 in the speak mom scrap shop that'll give you 15% off if you're looking for some sequins and all in all I think it it works well I think you can see the sketch and we're good to go thank you so much for spending some time with me and here's a look at my finished layout I'll see you all again soon